Hello everyone, I'm Rosevere, and in this video, I thought it'd be pretty interesting to speculate a little bit about the re possible release date of Classic World of Warcraft. Now, like a lot of people out there, I'm really excited for Classic World of Warcraft. I can't wait to get my hands on it and actually be able to experience that again. But I don't think we're going to be getting Classic World of Warcraft anytime soon, and here are the reasons why. Now the first thing that we need to do is look at the side of Blizzard Entertainment that makes decisions purely based on money, the business side, and how they've gone about releasing games in the past. So Blizzard, in particular with World of Warcraft, is really good at releasing content for the game in a fashion that it will directly compete with other games in the MMO genre. So what the business side of Blizzard does is they look at the release dates and timelines of other games and try to predict or even wait for the announcement of another game to say we're releasing at this date and then they will release content or announce that they're releasing content close to that date as well because in an MMO the last thing that you want is a content drought when somebody else is releasing brand new content or even a brand new game because you will lose so many players that way so when you look around the MMO market there's only one game that's in production right now that would actually compete with World of Warcraft Classic and take the market away from that, and that game is Pantheon Rise of the Fallen. But for those of you who don't know what Pantheon Rise of the Fallen is, it's essentially the spiritual successor to EverQuest 1, and it's trying to recreate that more hardcore, old school experience in a modern MMO. So Pantheon would be directly competing for Classic WoW's market share of the players, and it would be in World of Warcraft or Blizzard's best interests to release vanilla or Classic World of Warcraft around the same time as Pantheon Rise of the Fallen is being released. As of right now, there's no solid release date for Pantheon Rise of the Fallen, but it would be safe to assume that this game would release in the holidays of 2019 or the first quarter of 2020. I say this because based on what we do know of Pantheon is that Alpha is planned for late 2018 and Beta is planned for sometime in 2019, and I would assume based on when Alpha's coming out, that Beta would be sometime in the middle to late summer of 2019. And release would be shortly after that, releasing it in a 2019 holidays release date, or 2020 uh, first quarter release date. Based on that bit of information, it would be safe to assume that Blizzard would release Classic World of Warcraft in the same time scale as Pantheon of Rise of the Fallen. That would place it at a 2019 holidays release date or first quarter of 2020 release date as well. But that's not the only reason why I think it would be a 2019 holidays or 2020 release date. Um, and that leads me into my second point. My second point, and probably the more obvious of the two, is based on the length of expansions and how long they're out before the next expansion is released. And that's generally two years. Knowing that expansions in World of Warcraft generally last for about two years, with about a six month content drought towards the end, it would be really smart of Blizzard to release Classic World of Warcraft during one of those content drought periods. And because of Blizzard's consistency with the expansions in World of Warcraft for the most part being about two years long with that content drought towards the end, it makes it really easy to predict when that next content drought is actually going to be. So if Blizzard moves forward with the way that they currently release content for World of Warcraft, the next content drought that we'll see is towards the end of the first quarter of 2020. So with Battle for Azeroth releasing in the next couple of weeks, and expansions in World of Warcraft generally lasting for about two years, it would be safe to assume that we'll be seeing our final tier of content in Battle for Azeroth towards the end of 2019, or the very beginning of 2020. And Blizzard generally doesn't like releasing raid tiers during the holidays to kind of give the raiders a break and so they don't feel like they have to raid over Christmas and things like that. So I would say probably the first couple of weeks in 2020 is when we'll see that final tier and then we'll start seeing a content drought in World of Warcraft towards the end of the first quarter of 2020 which is about when I think we'll see classic World of Warcraft. So with all that being said, that's why I think that Classic World of Warcraft will be released in the first quarter of 2020. And I know that's not something you, most people want to hear. People want to get Classic World of Warcraft sooner than that. But I don't think that's what's going to happen for those reasons. And 
I'm kind of glad in a way because that means that they're going to be able to spend a lot of time making sure that everything is just perfect. And I don't really want to play a classic World of Warcraft that's kind of half-assed. I'd, I'd rather have it just be the perfect experience from back in vanilla than, you know, something being broken or things just not working right because it's just sort of a side project and not actually the main game. Alright, thank you guys for watching. I hope you really enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think of it in the comments. When do you think Classic World of Warcraft is going to be released? Um, also, follow me over on Twitch. I'll be streaming over there four or five days a week. And I hope to see you in the next video.